If I'm in survival and I jump, bang! What? Reducing next fall damage by 50%? Hold up, how do I do? Oh! Woo! Ah! <laughs> and then let's activate our special. Whoosh! Yo! Oh! Spinning kick! <laughs> All right, okay. This doesn't need to go that hard, game. Two years ago, I showcased a mod that to this day is still in a league of its own, adding a full brand new combat system fully within Minecraft. And today, you can guess it, that mod got another update. So hey guys, and welcome to the epic fight mod. That's right, it has received yet another amazing update, changing a few small things here and there, but also adding a bunch of new exciting stuff. And along with that, I thought I'd showcase one extra thing at the end of this video, which is a whole Sanji related move set. Of course, before that, though, we have to show off the new update. So let's just jump straight in, shall we? Now, if you missed my last showcase on this thing two years ago, don't worry, because I may as well just show you it all it again. Like, I don't know what everything that has changed fully is, because some stuff seems to have new effects, some things seem to do the same old stuff, some things seem to be brand new. So I don't know, I'm just gonna jump into everything. That way we can guarantee we've pretty much seen it all. At least that's that's the method to my madness right now, all right? <laughs> the first main thing I wanna say that they've added, which I don't think was in the last version, and I don't know when they added this, but compared to when I showcased this last time, they didn't have it. That's if you click G on the keyboard, you can actually lock on to who you're looking at. If I'm, oh wait, I'm in shoulder person, hold on. If I'm in first person, as you can see, I'm not holding my mouse right now. I wish I had a webcam. I'm not holding my mouse, but my camera is completely locked on to this figure. Same thing happens if in third person, and if I click G again, and look at someone else and click G, bang, I'm locked onto them. Basically making it like a Dark Souls system. And yes, you've guessed it. If I, uh, or if I go into combat mode and get close, yeah, you can see it actually just works. It, 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 there's nothing to it, all right? It's a simple lock on, all right? <laughs> Another small thing that has been added, which is so good now is when you fly, as you can see, there are now flying animations. And if I shift, I go down. If I hold space, I go up. If I hold backwards, he does a weird little jolter every now and then. But yeah, for the most part, it works. However, if I chuck on an elytra, does it do anything different? Hey, okay, all right, it just works. Now, as for all the weapons, honestly, they seem to play pretty much the same. The only thing I can say that is different about them is, well, the textures now look a little different. And for the fact that they also seem to be a bit more responsive, but that also could just be me. I'm not too sure on that one. Oh, there we go. Yes, they're all, oh, whoa, 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 chill, chill, chill. It seems like all of the UI is the main thing that's gotten a bit of an update. I don't know if it's just me, but they seem a lot more Minecrafty. Whereas last time they seemed a bit more, like, you look at this sword, it looks like a Minecraft sword. Whereas last time I could have sworn it looked a little bit different. I don't know, that could be my imagination. But the main thing I think I noticed here is actually the sword swing. See how we swing this sword? You can see the line. I don't know if you if you know what I mean. The, the sword line, the swoosh part, the, the, the part that's swinging, you know, that, the little, the white streak. There we go. When you grab any sword, it does that sword streak color. And I swear that is way more vibrant than it used to be. But again, it could just be my imagination, boys, I swear. Now that's all the old stuff recovered really quickly. But what about the new stuff? What's new? Well, we have a few new skills. As you can see, all the ones down here are ones I'm pretty sure were in the last update. These two I'm a bit unsure of. I think these have been added since I last showcased, but these ones are all part of the brand new update. So let's just have a little read and see what these do, shall we? Actually, I think I made a little mistake there. I'm pretty sure these two aren't new as well. They might be, and I could be wrong here, when I did, when I showcased last time, these two were definitely not there. These ones are definitely 1,000, 1 billion percent brand new. Whereas these ones, uh, yeah, I think they've been added since I last showcased because I only remember these. But then again, maybe my IQ has just dropped in the last few years and I've forgotten. I'm not too sure. <laughs> First skill up being the Death Harvest, where we regain in it weapon charge when killing an enemy with an innate weapon skill. Charge amount is based on your weapon damage and amount of enemies killed. Okay, I think I understand. Ooh, oh, I like this. I like this. This is brand new. Okay, so we'll activate it with Passive one. Yes, sir. All right, hold on. Now, if I click K on my keyboard, I can see my passive abilities. I have dodge, which is step, which, uh, yeah, I activated earlier. Ignore this, boys. And then my first passive being death harvest. So now if I spawn a few husks in, uh, there we go. That should be enough. Hey, buddies. Oh, that may have been a bit too many. All right, hold on. Let's try this. Hey, boys, you want to go? Oh, my God. I have a really slow attack. All right, hold on. Let's see how this goes. So take the zombie out. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, oh, crap. Bad idea. All right, come on. And... Eh, I missed <laughs> that miss him. Oh, that didn't. Wait, I have a lock on button now. Lock on. There we go. Eh, yeah, boy. All right, sick. So now if I activate my ability, there we go. Actually, I should probably eat first. Ah, oh, crap. Bad time to activate my ability. <gasps> oh, get out of there. Oh, there we go. So it does work, I think. I think. Hold on. Let's just find out. It's about to end. Wait, is it? No. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll never know. Stupid ass zombies ruining my show game. Bro, I shouldn't have spawned that many. Hey, that's on me. I shouldn't have spawned that many. Crap. Maybe I'll also chuck on a little bit more armor because, yeah, I did not have enough on. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, the color matching is great, Troy. This time we're going to try again, but we're going to have the spear this time and see if it still works. So that should be enough. Is that enough? Yeah, there we go. That's plenty. Hop in survival mode, and now we see that our thing is zero. Down in the bottom right, I'm pretty sure that's what this skill is going to affect. So if I hit... Oh, okay, hold on. And then... Is this doing it? I'm not... I felt way stronger then, but I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm sure if I'm using it wrong, you guys will tell me in the comment section. Next up we have is Forbidden Strength, which basically just takes our health when we are out of stamina. So if I have a sword and I'm swinging it, got no stamina left, instead it's going to start using my health. Which sounds a bit dangerous, but I really want to see how it works. <laughs> Spawn a few more husks, there we go. Hey buddy, oh that's way too many. Alright, let's grab uh, the long sword, that uses a lot of stamina. Drain, 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 jump out, oh no, oh no, oh no, I shouldn't have looked on, oh no, run! Oh man, this didn't start very well again, crap. Alright, this time I'm going to start draining my stamina down there so you can see it. it starts draining when i get a few swings done whoa 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 okay so bang oh it uses it for my dodging oh that makes a lot more sense so sometimes it will use it for your swings but for most of the time it relies on the dodge as you can see my stamina is really drained now and if i dodge back it goes down if i dodge again my health just took a hit and if i dodge one more time i'm probably Oh, you can't kill yourself. Well, that's nice to know. Wait, can we? Hold on, I've got to... There's got to be... Yeah, okay, you can get down to one health. <laughs> you got to be very careful with that skill. Noted. The next new passive skill is Endurance. This one uh, looks way more complicated than the others. Oh, no. Gain a stun resistance for 12 seconds for the amount of stamina consumed when you're hit while you prepare an attack. Ah, uh, okay. What? So while I'm about to swing an attack, if I'm doing a charge attack and they hit me, then they get stunned for 12 seconds. Or do I get a stun resist... Oh, I can... oh we'll figure it out one week. Oh, husks! Uh, yeah, test subjects! <laughs> we gotta try it! Oh, you can see it! You're down my bottom right! There it is! Okay, let's just, uh, flick, flick. That should be plenty. Yeah, look how many it spawns from that small flick amount. Oh, gosh, here we go. So, if I have my ability and go to swing and then get hit... Oh, there we go! There we go! So, now I had that stun resistance for a tiny bit. I think I saw it pop up above my head. I don't know if that was it, but I'm pretty sure it was. Mm, this is a little confusing, boys. Spawn a few more zombies in. There we go. Plenty more. <laughs> hey, boys! Okay, dodge out. There we go. Stop locking on, Troy. You don't need to lock onto anyone. Okay, so judge it. Yeah. Okay, I got hit and I had the ability. Oh, no, but it's still charging. Shit, shit, shit. Guys, yo, I was just playing. I was just playing. I was just playing. Honestly, ain't gonna lie. This spear actually kind of go hard. Like, watch this. Woo! Oh, no. No, don't watch this. Don't watch this. Look away, guys. Look away, children. This is gonna end poorly. No. Damn it. Our next passive skill is hyper... Ver oh, no, that's a word I can't say. Tal uh, vitality? Uh, okay, I played too much Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Allows stamina use for in weapon skills. What's innate? What's innate weapon skills? Innate weapon skills. What's an innate weapon skill? Cool down 20% of weapon innate power. Uh -huh. Is innate like this ability or is that an enchantment? Eh, either way, let's find out. There we go. We can see it down on the bottom right again. Okay. Spawn some husks again. Let's see what this does. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys are ready for this one. So it says use a stamina when weapon innate power is insufficient. So I don't know what the weapon power... Oh, on my ability, I can see it. There we go. Oh, what? That is interesting. So it seems to build... Unless that's just this weapon. Hold on. Let's try a different weapon to make sure. Okay, so we got a different weapon now. Let's see if it builds up and it like adds down to the bottom right. So spawn some us in. Hey, guys. I hope you're ready. And sing. Oh, I missed that completely. Come on. Okay, no. So it's not doing it with this one. Hmm. That is weird. Very interesting. I'm not too sure on this one. Again, some of these abilities might be a bit more advanced than what I'm putting on. <laughs> the next and last passive skill that's been added is emergency escape. You can now cancel your attacks by dodging. Allows dodging when you are out of stamina. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it's available with only the sword, this one, yep, and the dagger. All right, okay, sure. I guess we'll learn that and get rid of hyper variety or whatever the frick the word is. Cancel my English. I don't care, guys. <laughs> I stayed in school. I just suck at English. <laughs> Oh, that's a bad lesson to take from that. <laughs> All right, let's put some husks in. Let's see how this works. So it, from what it's saying about emergency escape is I should be able to swing. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Combining that with... Hold on. I think it's working because I, I don't know if I have the right weapon. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, it is this weapon. Yeah, so this one it works with. So I can use... Wow, it's like I'm in turbo mode. I can literally dodge whenever I want. Mixing with the other ability, which drains my health instead when my stamina isn't there, also works extremely well. Sing! Oh, what? Okay, all right, all right. Uh, maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was. <laughs> My health is getting drained again. Crap. So, dagger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, I just shanked the dude. Shank, shank. No, don't, don't get out of that crap. Run, 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 run. I'm not ready for shanking. I haven't, I'm not ready for shanking. Shanks will be disappointed. <laughs> One piece joke. Oh, let's go. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> 
Now, at the moment, that is what the mod says is everything new. But to me, there are a few things that I have not shown you guys that is still brand new to my audience. So let's jump into some of the other things I haven't seen before. Starting with this, which I may have seen because, yeah, I don't know what this is. I have the hawk. Catching the enemy's weak point. Wait, wait. Blocking, parrying, and giving the stats. Whoa. Huh? Huh? Learning. Oh, oh, just like that? Really? All right, let's get back this blade because this one seems to work with most of the passive skills and most of the other abilities. And from the one I just got, it says I was able to see weak spots, but I don't think that's going to really work on mobs. Then again, it might. I, I'm not too sure. I, yeah, like I saw the eye. It's down in the bottom corner. I'm not too... Is it? Is it? I'm not... I don't know what's going on. The other ability I'm not too sure on was parrying because... Oh, no, parrying. I definitely remember that. I remember it now. There we go. See, that's why you got to look, guys. That's why you got to look. And the last two were actually slam techniques. The meteor slam, which I think is... Yeah. Apocalypse descending from the sky. Crush it to the ground with a powerful slam. So what? Do I jump slam? No. Do I have to... What, do I, how, high, how high do I have to be here, game? <laughs> and slam. Nope. That was, that was pathetic. What was that? And go. Whoa. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, look at the ground. Oh, hey, yo, that is sick. Hold on, let's get higher up. Does it actually hurt me? It's like if I'm in survival and I jump, bang. What? All right, hold on. We have to try this on the zombies. You guys already know. All right, zombies, you're going down. Bang. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, that is sick. Whoa, get out of there, get out of there. There we go. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Yo, can I do it again? Hold on, hold on. Go, 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 go. Run up here, run up here. There we go. And then quick. Go! No! I did not have enough stamina. Shit, shit, shit. Charge and go! <laughs> Alright, these moves are just so cool. It's gotten so much more refined over the years, guys. I swear. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm talking too much. Let's see what this last skill book is. Demolition Leap. Whoa. Mobility skill. Hold up. Gather energy to launch yourself into a target's direction. What? Reducing next fall damage by 50%? Hold up. How do I do... Oh! Woo! What? Yo, what? Yo, what? I'm Okay, that is the, one of the coolest things. I am glad I say that to the end because that is just charge and then... Yeah! Oh my gosh, man. That is awesome. Question is though, can I use it? So go up into the air and then... Yeet! Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> all right, all right. We, let's try this on the zombies real quick before we jump over into showcasing the last little Sanji move set. Because I know a lot of One Piece fans are going to be waiting for that. So uh, let's just uh, quickly spawn these husk boys in. Spawn, 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 spawn. There we go. Hey guys. All right, come over here. We'll charge, 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 and up. Oh, there we go. And woo! <laughs> That is awesome. Now we run away for a second. Eat some. No, 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 no. Ooh. Okay. Eat, 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 eat. Just need to be careful not to hold space. Crap. And go. <laughs> oh, that is the coolest thing. That is so unnecessarily cool. I love it. And. Yeah. Let's go. Bang. Oh, what? What's that? You thought you could take me? Oh, 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 oh maybe they can. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. And go. Oh, yeah, that was sick. All right, that's enough of the epic fight mod. That is pretty much everything that is brand new in the mod itself. But people can now make their own things for the mod. So there is only one more thing to show, and that is the awesome Sanji custom moveset. There are tons of custom movesets out there, but this one being, you know, being a One Piece fan now at 600 episodes in, boy, I've got, I've got to showcase this. Come on, surely. Uh, unfortunately, for some reason, I just discovered it, this does not work with the most recent version. Version, which is really disappointing. But yeah, if we open there, you can see all the old stuff. Oh my God, look at it. If you're wondering how to get this Sanji mod to work, you need to go back and try and make sure the Epic Fight mod is running on the 2022 version of the game. Or should I say the 2022 version of the mod? That mod version seems to work for some reason, but the most recent one does not. But anyway, I'm not going to let that take this video up. I still want to show this awesome look. Oh yeah, the hands in the pockets. Oh yeah, boy. Now uh, let's actually quickly move down to the ground so we can actually try and fight some people real fast. Because this moveset, if you've seen One Piece, you already know, Sanji only uses his feet in combat. And this moveset completely captures that. Along with that, it also adds two unique skills. Being ar armament... Oh, no, I always say this wrong. Is it armament? Yeah, I'm going to say armament hockey. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Which is, well, how it works in the show. It basically just allows you to get a buff on your body so you can break through people that have 
Hucky, or should I say, Lo not Hucky, Logia types. There we go, man. I'm getting my One Piece knowledge confused. And of course, they had to add Conqueror's Hucky as well, which is, well, Conqueror's Hucky, uh, which I have applied, but I don't really know how to use it. It seems to go off uh, if I hold down. Hold on a second. Hello? <laughs> do I need enemies? Here we go, boys. Welcome to the party. And then, uh, hey, boys, do I need a uh, uh, Conqueror's Hucky? Nope. Conqueror's, Conqueror's, don't know Conqueror's. It's not working, guys. <laughs> well, at least I got Sanji's moves. Let's see how these work. I should have. Kick, 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 kick. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I need to be very careful. Hold up. Do I have, like, any move? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up. How did I do that? The one cool thing that I just discovered about Sanji's abilities is he has an aerial move. What? Yo. That is, can I? I can just look wherever I want. That is so cool. Bang. Dude. All right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Spawn more in. Sorry, guys. Run back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on a second. Let's try and take out the baby. So bang, bang, bang. Oh, oh, bang. Whoa! All right, all right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then let's activate our special. Whoosh! Yo! Oh! Spinning kick! <laughs> all right, okay. This doesn't need to go that hard, game. Come on, that is sick. I hope whoever is developing this comes back with whatever and whoever he can for more movesets. Because if he can make, like, a Zoro sword moveset, Three sword style, freaking Luffy's gum gum fruit. Can you imagine, boys? Oh, that would be incredible. But anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to end this video. If you want to check out any of these mods, then be sure to check the description down below. And hey, if you want to see more videos from me, then be sure to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 700k before the end of the year, which is an ambitious goal, but I think we could do it. We're so close. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Troy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya, boys! Oh, so cool.